Welcome to the first of my Heart God Soul Silver Deck Surgery mini episodes. This week, I've chosen a deck sent in by Shadow Mario 90, who sent in their Samurai for Alligator deck list. And here's the list that he gave me. The list so far is actually pretty good, but here's some things that I would change. For the Pokemon, your lines of Pokemon are looking good, but the Sloking line seems a little out of place here. I would take those two out and add in two more Cleffers to bring it up to three. This means you'll have more chance of starting with it, which is a good thing, since it can get you out of tight situations and grab you some extra cards when you have a low hand. The 3-2 line of Donphan is interesting, since it gives you an extra basic to work with, but if I were to build the list, I would cut the extra Fampy and add in either a fourth Cleffer or a single copy of Tyrogue. Tyrogue will give you quick KOs against non-sleeping baby Pokemon, and I've found it to be a great asset in testing. Other than that, the lines are looking good, so it's on to trainers. I like that you have some good hand refreshers in here, but I'm feeling the Professor Elms count to be a little bit high. I would personally cut that down to 2, and bump up the number of either Juniper or Pont to 3. This will give you more access to a fresh hand when things just aren't going your way, or you just need some better cards. 2 Pokemon Collector also seems a little bit low to me, so I would cut down the interviewer's questions to 2, and bump Collector back up to 3. This will give you a quicker early game since you need to get those basics onto the field as soon as possible to get them evolving the following turn. Interviewer's Questions is a very nice card, but it seems to fail more for me than when it works, so try out the numbers of that and see what you feel comfortable with. The energy line is looking good too, but maybe just switch them around a little bit so that you have 4 fighting energy. This gives you more chance of drawing into it and make sure that you can get at the energy when you need it. If I was to build the same list, then I'd try it like this. I would personally run it like this because Junk Arm is such a good card in this format, turning your discard pile into a working library of trainers for later on in the game. The four Junipers will help you to get things into the discard pile, as well as getting you drawing through your deck as fast as possible. The Pont is still in there so you have a Shuffle Hand Refresh if you don't want to discard what you've got, and the Junk Arm works great for getting things like Rare Candy and Energy Retrieval from the discard pile. I know running a single Energy Retrieval might seem a little bit odd, but with the fairly high count of Junk Arm, you'll be able to discard it early on when you don't need it, and then use it later on when you do. Try out the changes above to stick as close to the original build as possible, but also try out the version I posted and see what you like best. Thanks for sending in your list, and I hope that have helped you out. As ever, keep sending me your lists, and check the website on Saturday to see if yours gets picked for my written version. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you on Saturday for the next episode of Poker Class.